I guess you're right. Listen, <laughs> okay. I don't want to go to the sperm bank. I don't. So that shouldn't even be in your purview, rear view, none of your views. That don't take that out of your mind. That is a terrible idea. It's a horrendous idea. You know, after this conversation, I can say I'm a lot more hopeful. <laughs> That's good. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Sublime. Love ourselves and love one another without any type of sexual orientation, like no type of sex involved. Literally just genuinely love one another because that's really... I'm going to say this. Black men don't want to be loved. We want to be respected. You're right. You're right. So stop, love, you, stop just, loving us. Start respecting us. No. Because you move We are meant to love y'all. Y'all respect each other. That's the disconnect. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, love your wife, respect your husband. So again, like, like I said before, How can I have love conversations us? within with black men, right? But I'm talking specifically with black men and black women. We need y'all to respect us. We don't need any more love. Because the love leads nowhere. The love is the reason why you're shacking up with a bum and complaining every five seconds that he's not who you thought he should be. That's when I realized. That's love. That love but is when not you enough. But when you get with a man that you admire, that you respect, that you revere, it's different. That's a fact. That it's different. It's a fact. I'm still looking for him. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm still single. I'm just saying. Let y'all know. And don't do that. Don't, don't go to the damn sperm bank and try to be a single mom. Listen. Do not, don't do that shit. Please. Don't I would shit. rather imprint my own child with the word and we travel the world together and they you know we see you know the world together then find a bum dude what if the all... sperm donor is a bum what do you mean what if the sperm donor was a bum he went to the sperm bank because he needed a couple dollars okay you need semen to have a child yes what if the sperm donor was a bum there's, there's a gonna be bum in his DNA. there's a catalog for this there's gonna be bum in his dna what if i get someone from Africa, like an African DNA. That's what if. That's if. It's not no if. There's a catalog. You can go sit in Mark, where, what territory, what region. This bum's in Africa. I'm from Africa. Listen, it's okay. Just because you, so you could have just been bummed for the circumstances, not necessarily your mentality. But you can't make that distinction, is my point. And we don't need no more single mothers out here, especially raising boys and talking about they're going to find a 1% man for the boy, but they can't find a 1% man for themselves. How are you going to do that? That is a fairy tale. Well, it's not that I can't find them. I'm raising myself up to be on that okay. pedestal. Okay, so you won't have to go to the That's sperm That's why bank. I said, if I have to... If you I, should never have to, is my point. That should if be I get to B. that point... You shouldn't be planning for that. It's like, for me right now, right, there will never be a time, there will never be a time, get, oh, listen, there will never be a time that I work at McDonald's. Never. I'm certified. I I'll always you. make six figures. Yeah. So I'm not planning for that. Right. So when you do the work you need to do, You're there's right. never going to be a time where you need to worry about going to the sperm bank and hoping you don't get a bum's DNA and raising a man by yourself and putting out another bum into the world. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said I was extraordinary. Ain't no bum gonna be in and walking around nowhere. I listen, I imprint on other people's kids. Listen, to, an extraordinary understand. black woman can still not raise a man. You're right. Exactly. So you being extraordinary. But there's a lot of men who were raised without fathers who understand that, that they understand what their value is as a black man. Ninety nine percent of them, just like you said, don't. There's a one percent? No. We can't hope on listen, possibility. Listen. We got to do math. <laughs> we got to do math. Men so in their I, numbers. I hope your son is an exemplary human being. Thank I you. hope that's the Thank case. Because he will be. With that being said, absolutely. With that being said, when you do things like go to the sperm bank, you decrease the likelihood of him being accepted. What if it was a sperm bank in Beverly Hills? 
in Calabasas. You know how many homeless people are in, in, in California? It's homeless. In Calabasas, you think it's homeless people in Calabasas? They can go to Sperm Bank. You think they let them in Calabasas? Why is a rich nigga going to Sperm Bank? Tell me that. Because he's like Nick Cannon, but don't want to really necessarily deal with the women. He's trying to spread But he could fuck them. He, he could fuck them. Of course. Okay, so but my point is, but, but why the thing would he about it, when you fuck bank? a female and you actually have a baby with the female that you fucking and you know her, you got to still deal with her. Why would he go to the sperm bank? So he can um, have a whole bunch of kids, and, you know. That he never share is his, in contact with? Like, what is the share the Share the wealth. Because there's women out here that is one in 22, you know, one to every 22. I mean, so, that's so, so, so you're saying an uh, intelligent... It's going to be a lot of women out here with no man. What are we supposed exactly. to do to, so, to actually have babies? To be to live out our purpose of nurturing. I would rather become a polygamous man than go to a sperm bank. Of course, as a man. Yeah. So, but my point is this. Beverly but that Hills, means, are you able to find women who are able to agree into that situation? I'm a one percent man. Of course, I can. I if mean, of course, you can. A bunch. So, my point is, because it's all business. You're saying Nick Cannon will go to a sperm bank, and I'm like, why? No, nah, I would. No, nah, Nick Cannon. Not he actually must love women. Exactly. So why would another Nick Cannon go to Sperm Bank instead of going the Nick Cannon route? I guess you're right. Listen. <laughs> okay. I don't want to go to Sperm Bank. I don't. So that shouldn't even be in your purview, rear view, none of your views. That don't take that out of your mind. That is a terrible idea. It's a horrendous idea. You know, after this conversation, I can say I'm a lot more hopeful. <laughs> that's good <laughs> that's good do you have a question for me um I always like the interviewees asking me something hmm when you say you know you know doing everything right is that basically more so saying everything right on your end to fulfill your lifestyle or more so doing everything right for a woman? Or what's your idea of doing everything right for a woman just because you do everything right for yourself or have done everything right for yourself? And you feel like, okay, no, you should accept this. I've done everything right. So I'm, I'm not a super religious person, but certain parts of it I, I definitely agree with. And one of the things I definitely agree with is the story of, you know, Adam and Eve. Okay. Before God created Adam, he gave, uh, before God created Eve, I'm sorry, he, he gave Adam work. Okay. He told him to tend to this garden, all the creatures in it, all the plants, fruits, all that bullshit. So for me, until a man can be anything for anybody, he has to be something for himself. Facts. And that's all about purpose. That's all about drive. That's and all that's about integrity. So... You can't teach it to him like I could. But a lot of men don't know what you're saying. So how can they teach that? Only those men should exist to you is my point. See, this is why. Only those men should exist to you. So so he needs to, first of all, start by doing what he needs to do for himself. Facts. And then when he gets to a certain point where he can put certain things on autopilot, he brings in a helpmate to help cultivate the vision of a legacy that he wants. Facts. So... And, you know, in maintaining that helpmate, there's certain things you have to do, you know what I'm saying? But at that point, you'd have the money, you'd have the time, you'd have the disposition to do those things for her. Because at the end of the day, like, as long as I've been around women, whether it's my mom, my sisters, women I've dealt with, female friends, people I've interviewed, women just want to feel safe. At the core. They just want to feel safe. 100%. You know, but I have to feel safe first. And I feel like being, you, you have to feel safe first. First, yeah. Okay. I have to make myself safe before right. I can make you safe. Right. Right. A hundred percent. And you can feel that. You can feel that when men feel that sense of security and safe within themselves. It allows us to be feminine. Mm. Some of y'all. Really? Some of y'all. I wish, because w- and what I'm saying to women is, the idea is if you check off all these boxes, then I will dot, dot, dot. And what I'm saying to women is, a lot of those boxes, me and everybody I know check those off, and we don't get these results. So it's like you're saying this Birkin bag is $20,000. I save up $20,000, come to the store, and now it's 50. So who's to say when I save up that 50, it won't be 100 next time? That's true. 
And that's what that's why a lot of these men are leaving. And I and I implore black women to you just gotta find a woman to, to, to me, find a discount. I don't, I don't believe in discounts. But to me, I implore black women to meet amongst yourselves. And y'all get together. And y'all have those conversations. Because y'all ain't listening to us. Because we don't say it the way you want us to. It's harsh. You know what? You're right. I think it's very imperative that women have friend, female friends that they can go to and have these type of conversations They tell them the with. truth. Y'all be lying to each other. Y'all be lying. Y'all keep telling Lizzo that she's beautiful. Oh, Lizzo, she's she's beautiful. not. She's tripping, but she's beautiful. She's pretty in the face. Listen, she not somebody like a big girl. girl. Not the girl, that, not the nigga she like. Not, but that's the point. But we don't know. Lizzo, Lizzo might be over there. She really might be Captain. No, she she like um she like Captain America. No, I think she got a dude though. Um, you know, she might just be just like some people be on there talking about Drake or loving Drake. You feel me? It might just be all play play in real life. Yeah, but, but she like she oh, like athletes. No. She like some, athletes. I mean, shoot, I'm pretty sure a nice linebacker could pick her up. That's five hundred pounds, baby. See, That's why he was squatting at five hundred pounds. And that is a that is a perfect example because why is somebody? Why would somebody? who is a world-class athlete who goes to the gym twice a day, settle for a woman who's 500 pounds when he can get a Victoria's Secret model. Why would he go to Lizzo? Make that make sense. Now, he might be a sloppy big dude just because he in the gym. I done seen some big ones. Just because you in the gym don't mean necessarily like... Because he might that. like another big girl. I understand that. But, but it's my really point the is, skinny ones that like the big girls. My point is... Why would a no broke dudes like super big girls? What? Yes, because they know they can't get supermodels. We got to start telling people the truth. <laughs> That's the thing. It's the conversations that we're not having. We're not having enough conversations. That's really what the key thing is. That's why I respect Kevin Samuels because he's willing to take that charge to have the conversation that we're not willing to have. Like this, this is definitely this was this is a good conversation. Oh no, this is gonna be heat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, like, coming out. this is good conversation because in reality, I mean, we go up under on Twitter or on Instagram and we t say all of our opinions underneath there, but don't want to say nothing back. Or when someone responds, they take a different way. We're out of context when it's in text, but when it's face to face, then you can really sit and you can analyze. Like, damn, I didn't think about it that way. Or no, no, you're wrong, you're wrong. Statistics say, man, forget statistics, okay? I'm out here living these real life. Where is the statistics at when I'm outside? And I'm trying to see where the statistics are outside. At. Like you they're said, outside. I got a hop on LinkedIn or something. They're outside. I'm telling you they're outside. But it is all about the conversations.